at Believe Nation. We are live. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday is my project day. So I like having one day per week to work on whatever I want to work on. I think we're just doing, we're, we're doing Q&A today. Let me just double check that I don't have a guest. I'm pretty sure, but that would be embarrassing if I, no, okay, good. Don't want to have somebody come in and it's like, you didn't bring me up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Wednesday's my project day. I like having one day per week to work on whatever I want to work on. I think as entrepreneurs, it's easy to get over scheduled and over commit. And what that does is sap creativity and expression. So I like chunking my days so that I have Tuesday as my YouTube day and it's just all day filming videos, strategy content, only thinking about YouTube. And then Thursday, tomorrow is going to be all day. We got movement makers in the morning. And then it's going to be podcasts and, and just nonstop being on people's shows. So crazy, like no time for creativity really. It's just execution mode. And so I like having the day in the middle, Wednesday being my creativity day and just open day and whatever I want to work on. And I think if you can not be massively overscheduled once a week, it actually allows you to create your next big breakthrough. So I've been working on... My NFT stuff today, been working on movement makers today, um, a couple other things in the hopper. And uh, anyway, we're here. This is, the, this is my break to come and chat with you guys, hopefully bring some value. Uh, if you want to pop some questions down below, I'll do my best to get through um, as many as we can and uh, maybe also do a live. Let's see. So uh, what do we got here? Welcome, 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 welcome. We got Vicky who wants to come in live. Okay, let's bring in Vicky. Let's see what Vicky's Lynn Cox wants to come in live. Let's see what she's got for us. And then we'll get to some questions. Oh and there she is. Oh my gosh. Hi, how are you? How are you? I like I like the blue wall. That, that's great. I was actually, um, actually, this is part of my self-care thing. I, I reserve some time for creativity mm -hmm. um, and honing uh on writing and singing and all that that other side of myself which opens me up actually it opens singing. me up to let's, to more let's hear something oh, oh i was singing francis cabrel right now what is je that aime, je aime, je <laughs> yeah so it's uh, i don't I'm know very many french songs so i went completely opposite everything creative okay yeah i like it the only french song that i know some of the words too is the Champs Elysees. Oh, Champs Elysees. Oh, soleil sur la pluie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Champs Elysees. Oh, les Champs Elysees. Yeah. You're in Toronto. Oh, soleil sur la pluie. À midi ou à minuit, il y, il y a tout ce que vous voulez. Oh, Champs Elysees. Yeah. All right. Uh, Toronto's great. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that was fun and unexpected. What, what, what do we got, Vicky? How can I help? Uh, I'm having a problem with execution. Okay. Um, I have a problem with trusting. There's so many people reaching out on internet with crypto and with this and with that. And um, having issues, a lot of people are doing startups and, and have claims of leadership or claims of, you know. Um, and <laughs> sorry, that's my service dog. She's playing with batteries nice <laughs> i have a service dog uh my question to you is like when you have an idea when you when you're brewing something up and you've 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 talked to a few people about it um <laughs> what's your first step into scouting out uh how you're going to execute um, I worry very little about how I'm going to execute. I just go do something. Okay. Like I think when you get an idea, um, sometimes telling your friends is a, is the right move. And sometimes it's not, you know, sometimes your friends just poke holes in it and tell you why it sucks. Uh, mm -hmm. and that doesn't help because it's just an idea. Of course, there's tons of holes in it. You know, like you don't know what you're doing mm -hmm. at, at the start. Mm -hmm. And so, People overthink the first step and overthink the how, where, where the how really is just, you got to start doing something, right? Sorry about that. So what, what, what's, what's something that you're struggling on how to get started? Uh, trust. Trust with 
Trust with who? Trust with my ideas. Um, okay. Like I, I, uh, I went to lock down the idea with some lawyers and stuff, and they were from the uh, U.S. and things were a little bit different here. Um, I don't want to. Um, uh, fear of having fear, I guess. You know, uh, fear of putting myself out there and. It's a really great idea, and it, it would help a lot of people. I'm, I, I am built to serve, totally built to serve. I do not do anything if it's not, I ask myself, okay, if I'm going to do this action, who is it helping? Why am I doing it? Because or else the passion fizzles out, right? So it's got to be lined up with my value system, with my family, with the life I want for myself. And um, so, yeah, built to serve, but I, there, I'm having trust issues with trusting people with my idea that would take advantage of it and only see the dollar signs and not the, and not the service of it to people who need it. Yeah. You know? So you're worried about sharing your idea with the wrong people? Yes. And then what, that they're going to run with your idea and, and leave you in the dust? Maybe. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm, I'm new at this, right? It's going to happen. Yeah. Like, it's going to happen. I'm going to, I've been, uh, I follow Bethany Frankel a lot. I love her mm -hmm. a lot. And I love her, the work that she does, especially uh, with the relief stuff. I follow people who give back. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it to help. Um, okay, but so what, what's person. what's the worst case scenario for you? Like you're going to tell somebody your idea and it's the wrong person who's not service driven and just doing money signs. What What's in your head as, I, like what's the worst case scenario for you? What are you so afraid of? That they use it in a wrong way. That they, that they use you in the wrong way? No, that they would use the, the I don't know. <laughs> and cut you out? Or what? Like you're working with them and they screw you over or they just cut you out and do it on their own? Or what, what are you uh, super concerned about? I don't know. I'd have no input in the, in the long run that they would uh, take it and, of course, have more funds or something like that to uh, solidify how they want to do it. My dog is eating clips right now. I got to get up. And <laughs> it's the best. She's I know. Zena, stop that. <laughs> Come on, Zena. The warrior princess. <laughs> I've had her for about three weeks. She's a rescue uh, that was given to me by Wounded Warriors Canada and trained uh, for my PTSD. And I guess she's feeling my nervousness, maybe. <laughs> That's great. Hey, um, she's a good service dog. She is. But she is. The idea is your idea and it's birthed from your heart and nobody will be able to run your idea the way that you can run the idea. Mm -hmm. So when people tell me every, every, every day, almost somebody's messaging me to say, Hey, Evan, this person is taking your idea. Somebody else is doing a top 10 rules for success or whatever. Okay. I mean, I spend zero time thinking about that because if, if, yeah. I'd, if all you're doing is, and Carmichael copycat. Oh, we, did we lose her? Hold on. We got to, she's, um, she's phasing I mean, out. She's back. I can't see you. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, is your, oh, there we go. She's back. Okay. I'm here. If all you're doing is being an Evan Carmichael copycat, you're never going to, you're never going to ultimately win. Like being an Elvis impersonator is a business model, but it's better for you to go and create your own art instead of just yeah, trying to be that. somebody else. Right. So, Elvis isn't worried about Elvis. I mean, Elvis isn't alive. I Sorry understand for all the conspiracy theorists. Right? He's not but, worried about the, the people in the race. He's yeah, just, it's like you don't worry about the people. So, so if your idea, people are so concerned about giving up their idea. It's like, but the idea without you isn't an idea. Like the idea alone isn't enough. It's the heart behind it. Yeah. And I realize it takes a lot of, um, of consistency and effort and structure to to run a, an idea to flourish in, to actually implement it and and you know it's it's like a baby right it's the first 10 years or five years or or whatever and 
I'm a veteran that has PTSD and some other, you know, physical issues um, due to service. And I'm just, what if I can't, uh, when, what if I can't run, you know, what if I fall? Because I have a tendency to invest and then I'm passionate about it. And then I'm, I'm tired and I'm broken and I'm, you know, the balance isn't quite there yet. Well, you're going to fall. Yeah. So like how many times did you run a drill and fall? Yeah. And then what did you do? <laughs> I had to get back up. Get back up and you keep running, right? I mean, you're, 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 the key is that the falls are just micro falls, not a macro fall, yeah. right? And that how do you, get you have back to finish up? the, yeah, well, you just, yeah. how, do, how do you get back up? You, you plant one foot in front of the other and you push yourself back up and you go finish the course. Yeah. Right. Okay. You finish the mission. You finish the like. There's there's nothing that will be fatal, as long as you still love the mission that you're on. It's to help people, actually. You know, it's to have. I feel it. Of, um, to be able to uh, gauge themselves, like you know, people tend to over push in in workouts and not be aligned, and their hips are not aligned when they're doing certain positions and stuff so uh it's to help people since since covid a lot of people are been have been training at home and um a lot of injuries can happen when you're training on your own so and so that's the thing it's like okay you might hurt yourself and if you do the, the, it doesn't mean never work out again it means yeah. maybe one one we need to go slower and two we need to actually learn some technique so that we're not hurting ourselves this happened to me. So like I'm doing yoga three times a week, three to four times a week, like every two days. So some days it's three, some weeks it's three, some weeks it's four. And I tried yoga like a decade ago or maybe eight years ago from a YouTube video and just pulled every muscle in my body. Like it just, the next day was, I, and if it wasn't yoga, it was me. I'm doing, I think I'm doing it right because I'm watching video, but obviously I did a whole bunch wrong because I was in pain, then not the good pain, like a good workout pain, just like, oh my gosh, this is, this is terrible pain. And I just wrote off yoga, you know? And so that's a mistake. Like the problem isn't yoga, the problem is me. I didn't learn it properly. I need, I need better instruction, I need guidance. So, so we, you know, hired a bunch of instructors who now teach us, my wife and I, every two days how to do yoga and it's so much better. So the, the message is to keep going, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that working out isn't for you. Of course, if you want to live a long, healthy life, you have to learn to take care of your body and you have to work out. But, but it doesn't mean push yourself like a maniac and it doesn't mean hurt yourself, right? There's better ways to do it. So if you take that analogy for your business and your idea, it's the same thing. It's like you, you need to not stop yourself. Like you're throwing up all of these hurdles in front of your own business and your idea which is me not doing yoga for eight years. You know, mm. like you can't uh, wait eight years for you to launch this thing because people need it, Yeah. right? And you will fall and you will make mistakes and it won't be perfect. And some, some people may not be the best for you. And you may talk to a potential business partner who doesn't have the right interest, right? I mean, you just have to trust that your heart will guide you to the right decisions. Like you decided to ask to come on live here, right? You know, that... <laughs> That wasn't me like picking on you. You said, pick me. I want to come online. And I, I was all set. Listen, you I was all set. To stuff and and um, there's so many times that I go on here and I was like, oh, I wish I could ask him some questions. Um, my other question about balance, about balance. You have a wife, you have a child um, and you have a bunch of ideas. Like I'm a really creative person. I was an F-18 technician for years. For 24 years, I was fixing jets. So I had to sometimes do repairs that were unconventional and needed some imagination. Uh, what I'm finding is as I'm moving forward and opening up my creativity, I have a bunch of ideas. How do you select which one or do you just push three at the same time or focus on the one, uh, bring that one to fruition and then move on to the next? It's the same answer as the first question, you're oh. asking how questions, right? It's like, you do it. Okay. What's the smallest possible way to get started and then you do it. 
And the key to, to figure out is what makes you come alive the most. Because in your three ideas, which you could do, you got three ideas for Vicky 2021. Perfect. You could research and plan and strategize and, and watch videos and read books and attend seminars for the rest of the year and still not have taken any action on it. And no matter how many conversations you have with me or friends or whoever, I can't tell you which idea you should do, right? Like they could all be, I'm sure they're all great ideas. It's, trust it because it came to you, it's a good idea, period. Like the fact that it came to you, as long as it has good intention, like is my intention to serve? Is my intention to help? Is my intention to do good? Yes, great. It's, then it's a good idea. Until you start actually doing it, you won't know until if, it's a, if it feels right and something you want to commit the next five years of your life to doing, yeah. right? So whatever the smallest possible thing that you could do on any of those ideas, that's how you should start. Okay. Like Go what on. could you do today on that idea that feels insignificant and tiny and small and like not, not a big step at all? That's the step. Okay. So if somebody wanted to become, like if somebody wants to get into the Air Force and be a mechanic, that's a long process, right? Like that's not just something you just well, do tomorrow. I do a lot so of that uh, for especially youth uh, because they don't know what they're getting into or how to. Yeah. So there's, uh, I have experience. Okay, but, but if that's like, if that's somebody's dream, right? Potentially, then what's the best thing you can do today? We'll go try to visit an air base. Yeah. And just, just be on the base. And how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel like, wow, this is, this is epic. Like I want to be here. Or does it feel like, oh, this actually doesn't feel like what I thought it was going to feel like? Because no matter how much you read about it or watch videos about it or anything else, like you just won't know until you start actually doing it, right? Um, I use the example thinking through sushi. Like, how do you know if you like sushi? Well, you don't know until you, you put it in your mouth because it sounds gross. It's raw fish and seaweed and rice and hot mustard and soy sauce, and that's going to be good. It sounds nasty. But then you eat is like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> Or some people might think it still is nasty, whatever. But you, you don't know until you actually just put it in your mouth and you see if it tastes good. Yeah. And that's what you need to do with your ideas. You need to put it in your mouth and eat it and see if it tastes good. Yeah. And if it tastes good, you go back and you keep, you keep doing it and like, you'll get better at it. And you yeah. develop the skill sets. You know, like if you can fix a jet plane, you could, you could fix anything. <laughs> yeah, my husband says. So he doesn't call anyone. He just relies on wifey. <laughs> <laughs> so you can figure anything out. But in the, if you're just over-researching, over-thinking, over-planning, over-asking instead of just tasting it. And don't worry if the first step sucks. I, it's going to suck. But, but the, you just try it and you see. How does it make you feel? The self-confidence thing and the, the perfectionism uh, of my past trade you know that's mm -hmm. lingering uh, if you if you're not going to do it right the first time don't do it at all which was that but i'm trying to move out of that mindset and say try everything fail at everything but fail forward sure but you know it's like now speeding that up because your two questions about how do i do this but it doesn't matter you just got to do do okay. something like the thing and I get, I'm, and I, you know, I've helped a, a bunch of people through military to entrepreneurship transition and like highly, highly, highly structured. You're told exactly what to do all the time, like saps the creativity. And now you're like, oh my God, I'm on my own. What do I do? Uh, I don't have my friends anymore. There's no community anymore. I'm by myself. How do I come back to, you know, normal life, especially if you've been in combat and, and just, anyway, um, the thing to keep, from it, it's, it's not like throw the whole thing away. The thing to keep is the discipline and that something has to happen today. Yeah. Right? The thing that you wanna step into is the creativity and the love and the service, all that is great, but something has to happen today. And the discipline that I'm gonna show up and the mental toughness to show up and do it, even when you don't know how. Like if you were, if you were to tell your commanding officer, I don't know about that. I have imposter syndrome. I don't know if I can do this or not. Like, what are you talking? Vicky, do it. <laughs> oh, no, we don't. <laughs> we were like, yeah. So, so like, 
I can so we need a little bit of that, you know, back to show yourself to and remind yourself what a badass you are and that you'll figure it out. I am badass. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's just remembering that because that's the only thing that's missing. It's not like how do I, it's just, I'm a badass. My heart is good. This is for service. This is to help other people. It's and I'm going to start. System. Yeah. You cut out for a second. I didn't hear that part. And it's in alignment with my value system. And, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you for that. Today, are you in Toronto? Where are you Canadian? I'm uh, in Ottawa. Okay, close enough. So listen, it's 2.30 almost. Take Today's goal is, how do I take a micro action on all three of my ideas? I already did. <laughs> <laughs> on all three <laughs> yes i have a, i love it uh we were talking earlier on you were mentioning you know how to train and you know you you overstressed your body your first session of yoga mm -hmm. well i'm a little bit you know gray uh, like white or black and i tend to overtrain as well if i'm gonna go for a short run i might end up for a two hour run you know it depends on how i feel so i have a kinesiologist and so I did discuss my ideas with a kinesiologist, show her the project, and we're going to act on that. And then I need to call the chiropractor so she can put her little two cents on the project. So when I do go uh, forward, then it's not, it, it's solidified by a kinesiologist and a chiropractor. Yeah, I mean, having experts to help you. And, and if you know that you go crazy, having some people, sometimes you need somebody to put the brakes on a little bit. Too. Well, you know, that's some... what the kinesiologist is there for. Uh, I have a kinesiologist twice a week, and mm -hmm. she doesn't allow me to do push ups or sit ups or anything like that. She goes, No, your muscles, your, you know, your injuries are too, you need to build muscle before you go back to what you were doing before. So, and she sets the brakes on me. My husband does too. He says, Okay, you've been doing enough. Go sit down, or, you know, um, I tend to go over and uh, push myself past my physical limits and mental limits and yeah learning how to respect my body and my and everything else in my family life um is certainly a balancing act after serving for 24 years where you're either really on or really off you know so yeah well, thank you for that. You got it. Much appreciated. Yeah, send, it, send you less love. And, and, and when you feel doubt and you feel insecurity, the two things to think about are one, that you are a badass in what you've come through and what you've done. That this thing is the thing that's holding you back I compared to what you've been through. Like this little thing compared to what you've done? Really? Right, like just, that's what I tell myself too. It's like I broke my neck in 2019 and kept going on my tour and like, I that, Making yeah. a video is a thing that's causing me, what? Right, just to remind yourself of how badass you are. And then two, the service. It's like, hey, every, every day that you are in your head thinking about this idea, instead of actually releasing it, I'm not serving. you're not serving people. And, and somebody's being hurt because they're not following a method that you can help them with. And for what? Because you're overthinking this thing and now that pe now people aren't getting the help they need because you're up in your head, right? So that's, that's the little more like, oh my come God. on, Vicky, what are we doing here, right? <laughs> like sometimes you need more of the, the push to be like, man, buck up and get this thing done because people need you. And sometimes you need more of the, the pat on the back. It's like, I've been through way worse than this, right? So like whatever you're feeling more, either the pat on the back or like the push to go forward are the easiest ways to get out of your head and into action mode. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll leave. I don't right. want to get off this, but I, I'm going to continue. I want to leave the space for others as well. Thank you so much for uh, letting me join this live. And I love your content yeah. and you encourage me every day. Uh, just wanted Appreciate to you, Vicky. And, and listen, thank you for putting up your hand because <laughs> Not everybody does. And uh, I wasn't even going to bring somebody in, but I don't know. I saw your face. I'm like, okay, you know what? 
Let's bring in Vicky. I've seen this chick for a while now on my feet. It worked out. <laughs> What's she about? <laughs> All right. Much love. Thank you, Vicky. Much love. Take care. Okay. Cheers. Okay, bye. Okay, that was fine. Okay, we're we're out of time, but let me get to a couple of questions just uh, just because, just because. So good, pat on the back. Did you guys like Vicky? Come on, she was great. Evan helped me find my sunshine. Never give up on your dreams. Much love. Okay, let's get to a couple of questions, and then and then I got to wrap. Uh, let's see. I started a YouTube channel. Any advice for me? make the content that you needed 10 years ago, five years ago, right? So like Vicky, Vicky is really solving the problem for herself. We didn't dive into exactly what she was doing, but whether it's training or whether it's overcoming PTSD, she's making the videos or she's making the training or she's making the content, she's making the, the product or service that she needed. Like she wished she had this five years ago or 10 years ago. I make my videos for, for 19 year old Evan who was struggling to believe in himself. And I still make my videos for what I need right now right so make the content that you need to see because there's lots of people out there right now who currently are who you need to be um what do we got uh, the mighty melanie okay i had a stroke i had a stroke deleted my english and now i want to be a motivational speaker and best to start with one YouTube and oh, got cut off. You know, so it, a little hard to understand where you're going with that one. But if you want to be a speaker, every day you speak. Every day you speak. Every day you speak. Every day you go on Instagram Live and you practice speaking. Every day you make a YouTube video and you and you you put it up there. Like if you want to be a speaker, my my first paid speaking gig was because people saw my YouTube videos. And the flew me out to Kuala Lumpur to speak, to, to um, be the keynote for their event because he saw my YouTube videos. It gives you the exposure that you need, but it also gives you the practice. Like if you want to be a great speaker and you're only speaking once a week, you're just never going to get good at the thing or once a month. Like there's no way. Imagine you're practicing something 12 times a year. You'll never get good at it. If you only practice tying your shoes once a month, Right? Imagine when you're learning to tie your shoes, like you would never have learned to tie your shoes. So whatever you want to get great at, if it's speaking, then every day you need to be speaking. Every day you, you go live on Instagram and if one person shows up, great, you're talking to that one person. If nobody shows up, awesome, you're still practicing your skills and you're making a, a YouTube video to share your expertise. Uh, what else? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I am Angela. Today I am Angela. What a what a name. Today I am Angela. Makes me immediately think, what were you yesterday or what will you be tomorrow? Still Angela. I'm very curious about your name. Um, but a different Angela, like a better Angela. You're a better Angela today than you were yesterday. Today I am Evan. Today I am Evan. You're messing with me right now. I like it. Name one thing you did this morning to get you in the groove. Um, music, 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 music. First thing I do every morning is music. Put music on. <laughs> Angela says exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, music. Music is the fastest way to change your state. So I start my day with music. Um, you know, Nina came out and then we danced to a quick song together. Like that makes a huge difference. We Dancing for 40 seconds together makes a big difference. You know, just makes you happy because in the morning you, you're struggling and slow and lazy right and so yeah music and then what else we do uh took the dogs out got some sunshine not that much sun here in toronto but still just getting outside and then we did yoga for an hour we had our teacher in uh thailand uh connect with us so it was 8 45 a.m for us and it was uh i don't know 7 45 i think for her in the, in the evening um so yeah, I, I gave you more than one thing, but I like I liked your name. Okay, let's do one more. I am Angel. I am Evan. Today, <laughs> today, I'm Evan. Today, I'm Evan. Today. What would be better for an individual to start a business, product, or service? I'm I'm a big fan of starting with a service and then going to product. Let me let me break down uh, in in a minute. See how fast I can get this out. So both can work, and both have have worked. 
people think product first because it gives you leverage because you don't want to trade your time for money. The challenge with the product is it costs you money a lot to go off and, and make it at the beginning. And most people pick the wrong product at the start. The product you pick isn't the one that ends up working. So I'm a big fan of going service first. One, because it costs you nothing except your time. And at the beginning, you have more time than money. So use what you've got. You have more time than money. You should be doing a service first. Uh, it starts getting you paid faster. You don't have to wait for a product to be created. You can just immediately start making money. And then it allows you to create a better product based off of what people are actually buying. So the best product to create are the ones where you're, you're doing your service and then you see the consistent problems people have and then you turn that into a product. People say built the serve. This is a good example. Like built the serve is a product, right? And this took, I, I don't know, six months to write. I don't know, a year all in with everything. I, I don't remember, but it, like a while, right? But I was able to write it relatively quickly because I had already done so many coaching. Like built to serve is really all of the coaching that I've done so that I can write that book really quickly. So talking about yoga, right? You should start as a yoga instructor, offer it as a service, figure out with a live customer what they need and how you can help and figuring out you know, your unique value proposition and what you're going to bring that's different than other people, just the energy you create by being with, with clients, start making money. Because when you start making money, good things start to happen, right? Like you start to believe in yourself more. You might be able to leave your job. <clears throat> it feels real as opposed to just some, some dream or some idea that you're kind of working part-time on. Like making money is really, really important if you're an entrepreneur. It's not number one, but it's got to be important. Otherwise, you'll never be able to quit that job and go full-time and have the impact that you're capable of having. So you start making money much faster with a service and a product. And then you get really close to your customers. Always in what your product becomes better when you get feedback. And the feedback from paying customers is a lot better than feedback from posting on Facebook. Hey, what do you think about this idea? All right. So if you want to dramatically, it doesn't mean you have to do this way, but if you want to dramatically increase the chances of you having success, if you want to get there faster and you want to start putting money in your bank account as well as seeing the impact that you're capable of having, start with a service first and then move to a product. Guys, got to run. Thank you for the love. Appreciate you. Back on. No, tomorrow is Insiders Readers Group. Uh, so back on Monday here on Instagram or Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern on my gaming channel, evancarmichael.live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. if you want to join and ask questions. Um, we have more time to chat on there and I usually get to all the questions. So if you haven't checked out that channel, go check it out. It's free. I play Minecraft and I take business questions. EvanCarmichael.live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. We'll see you there. Much love, everybody. Continue to believe. I'll see you there.